This is Dave Dahl from Martin Guitar. This is Dave Dahl's Pro Tips, and you just saw an example of really bad posture while I was playing guitar sitting down. And actually, now that I just did that, my back kind of hurts and my arm is kind of red up here from doing that. So, why wouldn't I want to play like that? Well, besides the ones that I just showed you. Um, there are some really bad uh, techniques that you could really pick up with your left hand um, as well as you don't have so much control over your right hand because you're trying to kind of hold everything together. So how should you hold the guitar when you're sitting down? Well, if you have a stool like this one, you can sit, you can have your legs resting on the rungs so you can prop the guitar up. Um, I typically do not like having the guitar on my right leg. Now. That's the big thing to start, really, is what leg should you have it on. I'm right-handed, I'm playing the guitar normally. I do not want to have this on my right leg because what that's doing is constricting my right side, right? And I have my left arm reaching across my body to try to get everything in tight and nothing's really in front of me. So I'm having a hard time seeing things, I'm having a hard time reaching for things. It's really no function to it, or very little function to it. So the way you correct that is by moving the guitar over to your left side. If I move the guitar over to my left leg, now the guitar, everything is directly in front of me. I have the entire fingerboard at my disposal easily with my left hand. My right hand is all right in front of me. I have full range of motion. The guitar is basically balancing itself. Now, those of you who've been playing guitar for a long time understand that this is the normal classical guitar position. Um, but it's the most comfortable for me. Um, and again, for form and function. Um, you'll notice that it, maybe I just raised my left leg up a little bit. I have kind of a long torso, I'm a little tall. So sometimes it's easier to have something to actually prep your, uh, to prop your leg up on to bring the guitar up to a more comfortable position. And again, I can basically let go of the guitar at this point and it's holding itself up and all I have to do is play. And again, I have all of the fingerboard at my disposal. Um, there are guitarists in the industry, there are main performing artists that will play on stage um, even when you're standing up and playing um, when you have the strap on you want to have the guitar kind of staying in the same basic position. Um, I've also seen people that put their feet up on the monitor to really you know get into it and play but if they're doing it during a solo a lot of it is because it's hard to play the guitar solo when the guitar is down here because you're stretching everything out and the lig ligaments and tendons aren't really doing the, the easiest job that they can so you bring the guitar up so everything is right here in front of you and you can play things very easily so if you have been having some problems reaching some notes, maybe transitioning between chords and bar chords and everything. It could just be something as simple as maybe you're not holding the guitar as you should be and making it a little bit easier on your body. So give this a try. Maybe it'll help out. I hope it does. Thanks for watching.